Hey guys, um, today I'm gonna do a kind of different video for you guys. Um, I recently did a back to back to school makeup look, but I'm not gonna do one of them today. I'm doing similar to that, but I'm gonna do a um, like a kind of makeup look on for going out. So if you haven't seen my last video when I upload was on Sunday I think. Um I told you guys that I'm going on my take us a fifth date, I think I'm going on. With my fiance. We're going out to not go I'm gonna have an, a really nice meal because we're not finding time we're not spending five times to together like you know, usually because um you just gotta get here a pretty late than you usually do. So instead of spending time spending time with each other fine Day, we're gonna go out for me on that Saturday just after Valentine's Day basically. But um this is the actual look that I'm going for. Uh, I'm gonna keep it really simple. Uh, I don't want this to be too long. Um so I'm just using the foundation, eyebrow, mascara, a little bit of eyeshadow and all that kind of stuff. So uh, before we get into it make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't and yeah i really hope you enjoyed this video so just the first thing i'm going to start off with is this um brow mark this brow mark and um, brow this mark brown thingy and it's a soft brown and i really like this because it gives you i also got this one as well but this is eyeliner actually i won't use it because it's not eyeliner oops but i really like this because it's so it's not as dark that I usually go for. It's not so I'm gonna first I'm gonna brush my eyebrows off first so they look the same. So I'm just gonna brush them up. Please ignore the slit in my eyebrows. Um eyes and shave my eyebrows. Because I couldn't find my pluckers, my tweezers even. So I sent uh trying to shave it but it went a little bit around, that's why it's weird. But yeah so um yeah i'm gonna take this this brow line which i absolutely love i do so yeah i'm not gonna use a mirror this time because there's like no point of doing it just so i'm just gonna do one at a time So, you know, I really like this because it's so lightweight on your eyebrows, you can't actually like feel it. It's like, it's, it's amazing. I'm in love with it. I might get another one to tell you the truth, but I won't get one until after I finish with this one off. My sister used to like nix it off me, she does, so I'd probably be safe that's sooner, right? So, yeah, I'm just gonna do like a really a quick one because I didn't usually like film this time, but basically, I usually film it around now and twelve o'clock. I do, but so I ran so I decided to do it now ish. So. And this is the finished look. I really like it because it's like so, like it's so lightweight. It is like it is amazing. Like I'm in love in this. So yeah, then after that, I'm gonna like brush that again to make it. And not as messy. can I push your face forward or not? No, okay. So I'm just gonna brush it off. Even though it looks a bit dark on me, but when this in the light is more. Like, you can't hardly tell that I'm wearing it. So, um, what I usually do, so I do my brows first, and then I use um, concealer. I'm using the W7 Save by the Gel Super Gel Concealer, and this is in fair colour. I usually, like, go over any mistakes I made, so. 
and I really like it because it's like one of those things and I really like it so I'm just gonna put it uh, like underneath so I'm, basically, I'm just making the shape of it again but in the concealer wise and then and I really like this colour because you can't have any tabs I'm using like a concealer so it's a loads of mistake I have made in my past doing eyebrows because I can't hardly do properly but you know like it's always the first time right and then I do it here as well which I always do just you know why not so next I'm gonna take this blue blender and I think I got this from I can't remember I got this one but it's actually really nice but you usually say you had to wet it before you use it, but I don't wet it because I wet it too much and then all my makeup comes off, so I'm not going to wet it. I'm just going to like use it to write it a bit damp, but not like damp, damp, if um, if you know what I mean. But So I'm just blending all that in, make sure it's all blended, so I don't want to make like any mistakes on here. So, yeah, I really like this because it gives you more natural glow. If if you know that, if you know what I mean. So now I'm gonna start off my eyebrow, my eyebrows, my eyeshadow. I usually start my eyeshadow before my foundation because if I wear eyeliner and then I put my foundation on, I make a mistake and I have to do the whole thing again. So I'm not gonna do that. I'm not going to put eyeliner on anyways, but I was always doing eyeshadow first. So I'm just using this Revelation Pro that I got for Christmas. And I'm in love with these colours. They're like dark to light, well light to dark basically. So the first one I'm going to use, if I can open it. Ugh, I can't even open it. It's stuck. Wait. There you go. So the first one I'm going to use is this one here. And I absolutely love this colour. I don't know what it's called, like... It's like one of those browny, pinky colour, but I absolutely love this, so let's go. I'm not going to use a mirror because I can see perfectly here, so. I'm going to go, I'm going to go overboard, I'm not, but, you know. Next, I'm gonna use like, a crease color. So, crease this now. so, I'm gonna use this one and then I'm gonna use this thrill one. And it's a bit of pink with a little bit of glitter in it. But I'm just gonna put like all over my crease to give it a more, you know, glow on my, on my eyes. So, you know, people can tell how much I'm wearing makeup for once. Not for one, but I usually don't wear makeup when I go on a day, but with this day, it's like a meal, so I had to look really nice, but do you usually, when we go to Nargum, we used to have McDonald's, we do, when we go hang out to Nargum, but we both decided it, because we're not going to spend Valentine's Day together as proper Valentine's Day, we both decided to, like, you know, just to, um, you know, go out for something different. I'm just gonna have chopsticks, but I don't know yet because I realise that chopsticks is a bit expensive for than Taco Bell, Taco Bell, you know, Taco Bell, Taco Bell. So, you know what I mean. So, next thing I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use foundation. So, I'm just using this L'Oreal Paris True Match, and uh, it's a shade Ivory, I think, and I really like this. And then I'm gonna blend it with a bit of blender. And then, actually, no, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pull on here and then do it that way. I think I think that'd be best. Naturally, I want I'll put it on my face actually. So I'm just gonna like put a little bit on in each. And then use the blue blender again, and then just like dab it. Sometimes I will have to use a mirror, but you know. My hat is in a rock, actually, as I know I'm doing. 
The mirror. You see, I've got small mirrors. Well, I'm not gonna use a small mirror. If I can reach it. I'm gonna use this little bathroom mirror. I don't know what's in my bedroom for. But hey, hi. I'm just gonna go for it. I'm allowed to cover all my spots up, but I'm going to have to put like, another layer on, I think. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put like, another layer on. Just like a little bit. I really like this foundation. It's like, so nice. It is. I don't know why. It just is. No, you can't actually feel it. Sometimes I use BB cream. It's on corner and I'm like how bad my face gets because sometimes I do come out with loads of spots sometimes but yeah but apart from that because I come from school now great it's gonna be more loud but oh well see it does more like coverage I really like like not too bad not too light just the right coverage for me to use like I use it, I like these a lot because like I guess I can lose this fast recently, especially on my chin. Like it's unbelievable. Like I don't know why I always have it on my chin. I just really do. Okay. Next thing I'm gonna do is um I don't know what to do now. Um see them. So I'm using the same concealer I did on my eyebrows. And I'm gonna put that underneath my eyes and my spots I haven't pop covered up my foundation and and my nose. Oh what my nose, I don't know why. I really like this colour because you can't hardly tell like that I'm wearing concealer. I like to put loads on my chin. I don't know why. Especially with colour covering the spots up that's what I got because it's so annoying here. Yeah. Do you like I know, it's just, I know. In I don't know. If it's just me or not, but do you feel like when you have loads of spots, it just gets irritated because like it's it's so itchy. You have to like pick it. But wait a minute, I don't pick it because I got like just like freedom cream that I really do use, and um, yeah, it really helps with this. So if you have like loads of like spots. I will recommend you again a Freedom Spot Cream. So I've got one in here somewhere in the drawer. I don't know, but I hope I will probably show you. Oh, and from the brush up. Yay, that's perfect. I can't find it. Um, but it's like just like it's like a spot cream basically you can get from the like any super drug. So Tesco's, Astor's, Boots. I got mine from Tasco's because like it's all on a special level for me and I got one just before after Christmas I did no before Christmas actually I got one after after Christmas I did and it really hard because like before Christmas I had I had my whole face was covered in like really bad spots and I used it like you use it once a week and now my skin is so clear it's like it's unbelievable like but like I would like recommend it if like if you have like really bad like breakouts because like with me I tend to have that have that a lot so um you know but yeah next thing I'm gonna do is a powder so I'm just gonna take this New York the Maybelline New York powder sorry powder. And then I'll use this, this use a tad bigger brush. Brush brush. I put loads on because like with me I always had to put powder on because like if I don't wear powder and I just not face my foundation will come on my hand. But with the uh, powder I will use that it really good. It does. So mum just came in. So um yeah. But um, yeah, I like to put loads on the tab because I'm one type of girls who likes to put loads of like 
had a rant just to make <coughs> yeah this show so certain and I really like it because it gives you like a, a nice looking glow I got from it so I don't want to look old there you go so next thing I'm going to do is bronze them and I'm taking this Hanululu Hanululu something like that and this is by W7 which I love this brand and I got like a little dark shade that I usually get because it had never shades in but I think I sat down I might go and get myself a bronze off myself because this shade is too dark for me I'm going to take this angle brush there you go and then I use my brush then blend it in like I'm not complaining but when I put it on like it gets too much for me then I have to put some Consider over it, but oh, I don't know. Like it's so annoying. Did you get? Am I? Am I just me, or am I one of these people who gets really bad at picking the shades for my bronzer? Because last time I had bronze, it was actually perfect for myself. Like you can't tell, but with this, it's uh, you can see the orange. Like it's so bad. Like oh my god. I might give it to my sister. Tell you the truth, I might just get one for Saturday. I use it for Saturday and then, you know, like, like I'm not complaining. It's not that bad that you can see, but when you actually go into that, like, you can actually like see it. But oh, God, it's so bad. I'm just gonna take a bit blend out, blend it in, be better. It right, well. Because I'm not that type of girl who like goes all out of makeup. I'm not, as you can tell. I'm really not that good. There you go. I think that's fine, isn't it? Next thing I'm gonna do is like a um, um, next thing I'm gonna do is blusher, blusher, blusher. I'm taking this, like again, W7, and I really like this blusher, so it's, it's cut up above, up above, and that's really light for me. So I'm gonna use the same angle brush. You always have to smile for your brush up. It's the cheeks, so. You know, yeah. No, I really like that, of course, like, so natural. Oh, shoot. So, I'm just gonna get back on the list because no one wants to. So, next thing I'm gonna do is highlighter. I'm just using this highlighter, which is so nice because it's got all three. All three in different shades. I use all three of them. I don't know why. I just do. Now I'm just taking this brush here, which I use. Mix it all in, and then chip bones. I do my chip bones first before I do my temples. Not temples, the yeah. nose. I really like this because with me, I like the very highlight a lot, as you can tell. My nails, and then up your lip, and then your lips, your chin, and then I put stuff over on top of my eyebrows. I'm just using my mirror to make sure it's all blended in properly because I don't want to do one of those girls who wear so much. You could tell. There you go. Um, I don't have mascara for some reason, I know my mascara is gone so. But I'll turn it with my skin. I'll use my I use a topical one. What do I need in my drawers? Oh. What does it come in my drawers? Do I? No. But, uh, but sometimes I do with mascara when I feel like it. But now I'm not going to do it lipstick. So I'm going to take it on my gloss. On my gloss. It's up to six hours. And I really like this. It's like a nude colour. Which I absolutely love. And it's so lush. Like it's amazing. So I'm just going to like... With me, I like to wear loads of lip gloss because I guess your lips are really nice gloss. I like gloss. You know what I mean. There you go. So, basically, that's it. So, with me, I don't talk much on my YouTube. I don't know why I don't talk much. I just, I really don't. But, um, yeah. But um, on Saturday, 
after I done all my get ready with me. I always leave that below if you haven't seen it already. Or I'll put it on my end screen so you guys can see it and click on it and give me some support and I really appreciate that. Um but after that I'm going to after I go out for me and everything like that, I'm gonna go to Primark because I'm gonna I'm thinking of doing like a Primark haul for you guys. I haven't done one of these before so I'm not going to like try them on obviously but if you like follow me on my my Instagram which I also link down below you can like see what outfits I'm wearing what I got from Primark I'm just going to I'm not going to do I'm going to do clothes beauty wise homeware probably I don't know yeah but um yeah um please subscribe to my fiance's channel he recently just uploaded a review on Doctor Who the new one new Doctor Who basically and please subscribe to our channel, which we done a couple weeks ago. We done like a, a bake off thingy, like a couple of bake off, which is yeah, actually my bad because I'm the one who won. Because with me, I bake a lot sometimes, but not all the time. But I bake when I feel like when I want to bake something, so that's why I'm the talented one who won. So yeah, I think that's all for it, and um, I really hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys on Saturday when I am. Um, show you a video of me getting ready for a date and yeah i'll see you guys next time bye